So obviously you guys are making a big push in North America. You just came out with the Lumia 900. Tell me a little bit about the phone. I mean, does it do anything that other smartphones on the market don't do? Indeed, quite a bit. Actually, what we announced today is a number of elements of our re-entry strategy for Nokia here in the U.S. Now, the Lumia 900, which I happen to have right here, is a device that has been specifically designed for the U.S. market. For example, in partnership with AT&T, we have the LTE radio capabilities, which is a fancy way of saying that it'll have amongst the fastest download speeds for video and music and so forth of any device out there. AT&T's done a great job on their network, and we've worked in cooperation with them to do that. But also, all Lumia products, what, the, what they bring with them is just a stunning design. When you have it in your hand, when you use this device, it represents what Nokia has perfected over many years all around the world in terms of how a device should be delivered. It also takes advantage of the Windows Phone experience, the operating platform that's on this device. And what that means is that, unlike a lot of the other experiences where there's just a collection of application icons in a grid, what we deliver is something called Live Tiles, where in fact on this device you have individual tiles that bring forward information about the people you're interested in, about what's going on in your life. So for example, I'll look at a picture of one of my kids, I'll see their most recent Facebook entries, whether I like to see it or not, and all of that information is there and I have a really compelling experience with that device. Why wasn't the North American market as important to Nokia in the past? It seems like there's a more significant, I mean, there have been attempts before, but it seems like there's a more significant push now. I mean, do you have a more North American-centric agenda? Has, it, has the U.S. market become more important because of Apple and Google? Or mm -hmm. What are the reasons? One of the things that we've seen as we've shifted to this war of ecosystems is the engagement in the U.S. in that war has really increased over the last four or five years. It's for some of the reasons you highlighted, but it's very much the case that there's a lot of innovation in the mobile industry that's now coming from the U.S. market. In the very early days of mobility, it came heavily from the Far East then more so from Europe. But now that it's really come into the U.S., it's clear to us that we have to be an important participant in the U.S. market, both because it's a good sales opportunity for us, but also because we can learn from this market and take lessons that we learn here and share them more broadly in the markets where, where Nokia has a very strong footprint. Why did you decide to partner with Microsoft? Why not go for Android, mm. like so many other manufacturers did. Yeah, and largely because many other manufacturers did, and the question was, how do we differentiate? How do we say we have something unique relative to what the rest of the world is doing? And it was very clearly our assessment that jointly with Microsoft, we could have a unique point of view out there. And through our partnership and the assets that we each brought to the table, we had an opportunity to deliver something that would really stand apart from the others.